Greetings, peasant. Excuse me? You are below me. My armor literally says noble in the title. You aren't even wearing shoes. Silence, peasant. A true noble has no need for shoes. Now carry me. How about no? Well, shit. Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, are you feeling fashionable yet? Maybe you are, but what if you could get even better? That's right, it's time for another six armor sets you absolutely don't want to miss in Elden Ring. Whether you are looking for an entire outfit or just a few pieces to mix into your intricate mixed set one piece at a time, we have a quick barrage of excellent entries into your Elden Ring closet. Without further ado, first up is the Godskin Noble set. Yes, yes, the chest piece is the big, thick, chunky. I, I know, it's wonderful, isn't it? Obviously, though, that is only one piece of this armor set, and so if you were to, say, swap it with something else, you can see the quaint ornamental beauty of the other three pieces of armor when not overpowered by the dominating force that is this chest piece. To acquire this armor for yourself, you will have to complete the first few stages of the Rani questline of the game. For a detailed description of that questline, check out our video on the Darkmoon Greatsword, but if you are already past the part of killing a great rune boss in Kaelid and unlocking Nokron the Eternal City, then you can acquire this armor set for yourself. Once you have received the Carrion Inverted Statue, all you have to do is insert this into the pedestal in the study hall and then reach the bridge in front of Lyernia's Divine Tower, where you'll encounter encounter a strong enemy who upon death drops for you this full armor set. Secondly comes the Tree Sentinel Armor. This sparkling golden armor should look quite familiar to you by this point in the game as it's a variation of the armor adorned by the first open world boss that you will come across in the entire game, and you'll see more of this enemy throughout the game from time to time. As with many of the cooler things in this game, if an enemy has it at any point, you can probably get it for yourself. To acquire this armor set for yourself, first head to the Reza Hero's Grave, just outside the inner wall of Lindell, the capital city on the north side. You can get here by ignoring the big bridge and sticking to the lower level of the path until you reach the very end. Now, this is the hidden objective of this location, meaning it does not involve the main boss, which you should, however, do separately as this boss gives you the Crucible Knight armor, which is also very, very nice. For the Tree Sentinel set, however, you need to head forwards, past the first chariot, and jump into the hole. Run past the Basilisk forward and then take a right turn. Get past the left chariot once it passes you, and then carefully walk back and forth between the left and right side as necessary until you reach the bottom of the ramp. From here, the boss room is just up the ramp, but our goal involves dropping down from this corpse onto a beam of wood, drop down again, then run to the other side to drop down two more times in a safe manner. Run back to the other side to find a big ladder leading to a new chariot, be careful and let this come down in front of you, then run up to where it came from, take a right and enter this final chamber, hit the fire trap here once, and then the next time that you reach the main ramp in the dungeon, a new chariot will spawn in the path of the other two, resulting in the destruction of all three chariots and gifting you the lovely Tree Sentinel armor set. Third today is the Knight's Cavalry armor set, which again you may recognize from earlier bosses in the game. This armor is quite nice, black metal with ripped black cloth, it is quite edgy, but I think if you change up the helmet you can take the edge off a little bit while still keeping the generally attractive aesthetic that the armor has as a whole. To acquire this armor for yourself, we are now heading into the later stages of the game. First, you need to have the mountaintop of the giant's region unlocked, and then we are going to unlock the consecrated snowfields hidden area within that region. To do so, you need to gather both halves of the Halig Tree Medallion, one of which is found in the village of the Albanarics, just the east of the main site of Grace, inside of a potted man whose name I did not bother to ask for. The other half is at Castle Sol in the north of the mountaintop of the giants, and it is the very top of the castle behind the boss. Bring this full medallion to the Grand Lift of Rold and then tell it to hoist Secret Medallion to unlock this new area. From this new area, progress north until you reach the inner consecrated snowfield site of Grace. Now pass time to night and then look directly southwest. Here you will see a caravan marching forwards and at night this caravan is guarded by a pair of bosses. Defeat the bosses located here and receive this armor as your reward. Fourthly, the Sanguine Noble Armor Set, and this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Black 
black, gold, red, and even just some leather and some extra metal bits. It's ornamental as all hell, and the only thing that's confusing to me about it is that you don't get shoes. It, it literally has Noble in the name, but I, I guess the shoes were too expensive. If you want this armor set for yourself, once again, start at the inner consecrated snowfield site of Grace, and then head mostly west with a touch of north, aiming for this massive tree in the distance. Once you get close, you'll be forced off of your horse, and moments later, an NPC invader will spawn. Defeat this NPC invader, and you will get yourself this fancy collection of cloth. Fifth up is the Black Knife armor set, which literally has a fading cloak active at all times, instantly making it one of the coolest armor sets in the entire game. The armor itself is quite ornate, even if the details can be a bit hard to see from a distance. The color has a nice bit of blue to it, but the main star of this is definitely the cloak that I mentioned earlier. On top of this, it has an actual effect on your character, causing your movement in-game to create no sound like the talisman that does the same thing. To acquire this set for yourself, head to the Ordina Liturgical Town, Site of Grace, just a short trek north of the Inner Consecrated Snowfield, Site of Grace, and then head to the northeast end of the town. Under this massive ramp are some archways. Check out the closest one for a corpse that holds this armor set until you take it for yourself. Finally, today will be the Rotten Duelist armor set, and this thing looks absolutely awesome. It's a shirtless cloak and a really cool uh, pantsless loincloth that comes with some boots. It comes with cool bracers, which aren't even actually an arm piece, but is more just part of the chest piece. And also you get this cool helmet. So, you know, you get what you can. There are three pieces in this set total, and each one comes from a different place within the Consecrated Snowfields area. The first one, when you first enter the area, directly northwest of the first site of Grace, is a small graveyard. Roaming this graveyard will be a sizable friend with quite the spiffy armor set. Murder him and you'll get the helmet, as well as his hammer as a bit of a bonus. The second piece of this set is near the Ordina Liturgical Town site of Grace. Head northwest to approach the symposing figure in the distance and murder him. If you, um, you know, accidentally knock him off the cliff, you will have to go chase the corpse down to collect your reward, which are the leg pieces as well as a nice looking great axe. The final piece then is located in the Consecrated Snowfields catacombs directly northeast of the initial Consecrated Snowfields site of Grace. Simply hug the eastern wall while heading north until you find the entrance to these catacombs. Once inside, simply fight your way until you reach the room with the large multi-level fire trap. Hit it once so it is in the lowered position and then run past quickly to the right, then once back at the fire trap on the next level, activate it and step on top to ride it to the top level, and find the lever which opens the door to the boss fight of the dungeon. Kill the boss inside this boss fog wall and you'll receive yourself the cloak of this armor set to finish it off. Probably the coolest thing about this armor though is the way that the cloak and the helmet uniquely interact. Without the helmet, the hood is never up, and without the cloak, the helmet has no hood. But in combination, you just get this really big, bulky, menacing looking crimson hood, and I, I really love the effect that it creates. All right, everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur, and this has been six more armor sets that you really shouldn't miss in Elden Ring. Has this quenched your thirst, or do you yet desire even more armor? Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay. Sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye <laughs>